Okay, let's proceed to the third operation, which is multiplication. So, multiplying two functions f and g is equal to f of x times g of x. Okay? Consider pa rin natin yung same na example. So, right first denotation, f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. So, f, f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 3. Then, g of x is 4x cubed plus 1. So, since yung fun two functions natin ay binomial, therefore, kailangan natin siyang ilagay sa loob ng, or include sa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? So, I know that you are familiar with this one. Ano yung method na gagamitin natin? So, we can use the FOIL method. Or F-O-I-L method. So, pag sinabi ting FOIL method, i-multiply natin yung first terms, outer terms, inner terms, at saka yung last terms. Let's multiply this one. So, yung first terms natin, we have 2x squared at saka 4x cubed. So, 2x squared times 4x cubed is equal to 8x raised to 5. Again, if we're going to multiply uh, expressions with the same uh, base, all you need to do is to copy the base and uh, add the exponents. Okay? So, it will become x raised to 5. Next, the outer. So, yung outer natin, we have 2x squared times... 1, positive 1. So, 2x squared times 1 is equal to 2x squared. Next is the inner. So, yung inner terms natin ay sina 3 at saka 4x cubed. So, 3 times 4x cubed is equal to positive 12x cubed. Then, the last terms, we have 3 times 1. So, 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Again, yung last process or yung last step natin gaya ng addition at subtraction dapat we're going to combine similar terms. Then, arrange the answer in descending order. So, 8x raised to 5 bring down kasi wala tayong uh, term na same ang literal coefficient sa kanya. Next, so kung mapapansin nyo wala ng terms na ma-combine. Tama? Therefore, we're going to skip to the next process, which is uh, arranging them in descending order. So, after 8x raised to 5, we're going to write 12x cubed. Kasi nga, siya yung next na higher or highest ang, um, or higher ang um, exponent. So, we have 12x cubed. Then, followed by positive 2x squared. Then, the, the constant term, which is positive 3. So, our final answer would be this. Okay, now how about uh, ito, sa fraction. Same pa rin. Write first the notation. So, sa multiplication, there's no need for us to write, uh, to get, to determine the LCD. We simply multiply the numerator by the, by the numerator and denominator multiplied to the denominator. So, f of x times g of x. So, f of x is 1 over x plus 4. Okay, that is a parenthesis. Then, g of x is 1 over x minus 2. Okay. So, ang rule is multiply numerator times the numerator, denominator times the denominator. So, 1 times 1 is 1. So, sa baba, we have binomial times binomial, right? Therefore, we can use the same method kanina, which is the FOIL method. Okay. So, x ta the quantity x plus 4 multiplied to the quantity x minus 2. Okay, the first terms, x times x, it will become x squared. x times negative 2, or the outer terms natin, becomes negative 2x. Next, yung inner terms. 4 at saka x. 4 times x is equal to 4x. Malang na natin yung uh, fraction bar. Then, the last terms. 4 times negative 2. 4 times negative 2 is negative 2. And lastly, do not forget to uh, simplify. So, we have 1 as our numerator. Then, sa baba, yung first na sisulat natin is x squared. 
Then, combine negative 2x at saka 4x will become positive 2x. Then, bring down negative 8. And, this is our final answer. And, we are done now with our last operation, which is division. Okay. So, in dividing two functions f and g, that would be equal to f of x divided by g of x, where g of x must not be equal to 0. So, bakit nga ba yung g of x or yung denominator natin must not be equal to 0? Kasi nga, kung magiging equal to 0 ang denominator natin, yung sagot natin would be or would become undefined. Okay? So, pero tayo yung restriction dito na nilalagay when it comes to division of functions. Okay, let's have the same example. Number 1, again, we're going to write the notation. f of x divided by g of x. Okay. Uh, we have 2x squared plus 3 divided by 4x cubed plus 1. So division, we can, uh, we can divide this if and only if meron siyang common monomial factor. But looking at our numerator and denominator, wala siyang common monomial factor except 1. Therefore, our final answer is this one. So, final answer natin is 2x squared plus 3 all over 4x cubed plus 1. May mga uh, instances na hindi na, nat hindi na natin kay uh, kailangan pang i-simplify or hindi na natin masimplify. So, ang, ang goal na lang natin is to simply substitute the given function. Then, this would be enough. This is our final answer. Pero, kung meron siyang common factor, kung meron Kung pwede pa natin ma-simplify, then, uh, then, we, then we can continue simplifying it. Okay? Halimbawa, uh, let us say ang f of x natin would be 6x squared. Then ang g of x natin is 3x. Okay? And we're going to divide or uh, use division. So again, write the notation. So f of x is 6x squared. 6x squared. Now g of x is equal to 3x divided by 3x. So in this case, pwede nating mag-divide si 6 by 3. Okay? Kasi nga yung operation nila sa gitna ng x ay uh, multiplication. Okay? Unlike this one, the the operation between each term is addition. Okay? In this case, we can divide 6 by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And x squared can also be divided by x. So x squared divided by x, all we need to do is to uh, subtract the exponent. So the exponent of the, de of the denominator, x, is 1. Okay? So 2 minus 1, uh, matitira is 1. Therefore, the answer is x. So this is our final answer. Again, pag hindi na kailangan o pag hindi na masimplify, then this would be not. Pero kung masimplify pa, then you can go further. Okay. Uh, the next example. Again, we are going to write the notation. <clears throat> so f of x over g So, f of x is 1 over x plus 4. Dito na natin yung equal sign. Para sa gitna na fraction bar. 1 over x minus 2, yung denominator natin. Yung rule natin sa pag-divide ng fraction is that we're going to proceed with multiplication, right? So, the numerator will be multiplied to the reciprocal of the denominator. Anong big sabihin ng reciprocal? Yung kabaliktaran. Yung numerator magiging denominator. Yung denominator magiging numerator. Okay. So we're going to write again the numerator which is 1 over x plus 4. The division becomes multiplication. Okay. Then we're going to multiply it to the reciprocal of the denominator. So, ano, ano ang reciprocal ng 1 
over x minus 2. The reciprocal is x minus 2 over 1. Tama? Okay. Then we can proceed to multiplication. So 1 times x minus 2 is x minus 2. x plus 4 times 1 is x plus 4. Can we still simplify these expressions? Okay, of course not. Hindi na, uh, hindi na natin sila pwede pang ma-simplify further. Therefore, the final answer is x minus 2 all over x plus 4. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang sir ninyo.